Welcome to BVS Pragati channel. In this session, we will have a discussion about ungrounded antennas, grounded antennas, uh, broadside array and end file array. In ungrounded antennas, we consider that earth is a perfect reflector and image antenna is established. Okay, so this is the actual antenna and this is the ground, this is an image antenna that is established. Okay. So, the resulting radiation may be treated as that coming from the actual antenna, okay, and also from the image antenna. So, the net effect is as if it is coming from two antennas. So, here is a radiation pattern of a lambda by 4 antenna, which is spherical in nature, and then you have lambda by 2 antenna, you have two lobes lambda antenna wherein you have four lobes. So now let's consider the radiation pattern of grounded antenna. Unlike ungrounded antenna where you are considering that there is an image beneath the reflector, beneath the earth, in a grounded antenna the earth acts like a mirror and becomes part of radiating system. So ungrounded antennas with this image it forms an array whereas in a grounded antenna the bottom of grounded antenna is joined to the so the bottom of grounded antenna is joined to the top of image so the antenna acts as if an antenna of double the size so if it is a lambda by an, uh, 8 antenna there is a mirror which is lambda by 8 so total is lambda by 4 antenna so you have Two lobes. So this lambda by 4 plus lambda by 4 is lambda by 2. So the, so the radiation pattern is like this. In lambda by 2, lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 is a wavelength lambda. So it's a lambda antenna. So you get like this. In 5 lambda by 8 antenna plus 5 lambda by 8 antenna is 5 lambda by 4 antenna you get 4 lobes. So lambda plus lambda is lambda by 2 you get 2 lobes. Okay, now let's discuss about broadside array. In a broadside array, it consists of number of dipoles of equal size and equally spaced along a straight line. Okay, the antenna lengths are about 2 to 10 wavelengths. Typical spacing are lambda by 2 or lambda. Okay. All the dipoles, all these, this dipole, this dipole, this dipole, this dipole, all the dipoles are fed in same phase from the same source. Okay. And the broadside array is strongly directional at right angles to the plane of array while it radiates very little in the plane of array. So if some point is considered along the line perpendicular to the plane of array, Okay, if some point is considered perpendicular to the plane of array. So this is the array and to, if it is considered perpendicular to that, the distance from this point, this point, this point, this dipole, this dipole is equal to that point and the net result is, the net result is the individual radi radiation in direction perpendicular plane of array are reinforced. Okay, so, but whereas uh, in, uh, and in the direction of plane of array, each cancels, cancels out the other and there is little radiation. Okay, this is because of cancellation in the direction of line joining the center. So this is how the radiation pattern appears. So in the at 90 degrees to the plane of array, it is maximum. In the plane of array, it is zero. And there are small minor lobes. Okay. Now end fire array. In end fire array, the physical arrangement of end fire array is similar to that of broadside array. Okay. The magnitude of current in each, so each element is the same as in every element. 
except that there is phase difference between these currents. And this is progressive from left to right. As there is phase lag between succeeding elements equal in hertz to the spacing in wavelength. Okay. Now, the radiation pattern is in the plane of array. So, this is in the plane of array and not at right angles. Why? At right angles, what happens? The first and third uh, radiation cancels out. The second and third radiation cancels out. This way, um, the in the um, direction perpendicular to the plane of array, the net effect is zero. But again, from right to left, if you see from right to left also, the radiation is a similar, can a similar cancellation occurs. But in the plane of array from left to right, the physical phase difference between dipoles is made up by the difference in feeding. Thus, there is addition that takes place and you have strong unidirectional radiation pattern. So, bandwidths are less for end fire and broadside array. They are best suitable for transmission than for, than for reception. That's all for this session.